Hi and welcome, I'm Roxy, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at how to create a simple BPM process with Kavevo. Imagine you're hungry. How about we create a process to satisfy your hunger? Well, let's take a look. Let's go to our Kavevo account and open a new process sheet. Okay, now let's get started on creating a process. Every process begins with a start event. In this case, we're going to start off a process when our hunger is noticed. Next, we want to go out and buy some groceries. Let's create a task for that. To add symbols, you can drag them from the palette on the left and place them on the canvas. Or, you can create a flow directly from the symbol. We'll name our task Acquire Groceries. Our process will now only proceed after we've acquired some groceries. Once we acquired the groceries, we can add another task to actually prepare a meal. Finally, we want to eat the delicious meal we prepared. So, create another task, name it, done. Can you see how easy it is to create your first process using Kavemo? Now, to end the process, we can simply add an end event. The end event is the last piece of the process and marks the status reached at the end of the process. So basically, our goal to begin with. The end event is the circle with the thicker line. Do you remember our original process goal? Exactly, to satisfy our hunger. Did you know that BPMN usually starts on the left and moves to the right? The errors connecting our symbols are called sequence flows. And the easiest way to understand the flow of this process is to imagine a token that moves from symbol to symbol. The process starts with our start event, Hunger Noticed. And this is also where a token is born. It then follows the sequence flow to our first task, the Acquire Grocery task. Here, the token waits until the user has completed the task and then moves along. After the user has eaten the meal, our token moves to the end event and gets consumed. A process is only accomplished once all tokens have been consumed. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to get started on modeling your first process using Kavimo. And if you already got the hang of the concept of token flows, great, you'll have a much easier time modeling even more complicated processes. And if things are still a bit unclear, don't worry. We're gonna get back to the concept of token flows in our next video. Now, remember to post your questions in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. My name is Roxy. Thanks for joining me.